Hello everyone, Zane is over here. Welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem Three Houses. Last time, we entered the palace. And we're going to fight Edelgard this time. This is going to be a tough battle, but hey. Let's launch. Flame. I think I got gave her too many, but hey. Uh, Raphael. Uh, what? How powerful is the axe of Zoltan? Seventeen compared to sixteen. I might, I might give him that. Brave sword. Okay, let's launch. They've defeating them all will turn the. T They've made it into the palace, but it's actually the perfect chance to turn the tables on them. Defeating them all will turn the tide of war instantly. Taking a risk on dragging us back from the brink is the only option. Everyone, prepare for a bitter struggle. Victory to the Adrestian Empire. There are more enemies inside the palace than I thought. It's gonna take a lot to bring this situation under control. But if we defeat Edelgard, then victory is ours. Everyone, let's go! Our bashful little emperor has locked herself up behind the door of the throne room. The key should be around here somewhere. We need to find whoever's got it and take them out. All right, Shall that's our objective. There we go. Sorry, but it's you or me. Nice. I still Shall we? Shall we? Oh. I'll tolerate no obstacle. Steady now. Hades, but the hit chance is terrible. What's my strategy? Leave it to me. Oh, 
<laughs> nice. Can't afford to lose. This good one. Fine crit. I'll do my best. You will regret. I've got no time for mercy. Nice. Hey, look at you. Another victory. Rusted lance. At the ready. I can't be letting you pass. I will defend, and I will be killing all of you. We must be... Must clear the way forward for every person. Strategy in motion. Sorry, Petra. Edelgard, I will not be keeping my promise. Give me forgiveness, please. We should be able to get through to the throne room now. No more Imperial I must keep going. I won't let this... Guide me well. Lament your weakness. Uh, that face brings back some memories. It's a shame we don't have time to catch up. Oof. Taking heavy damage. Yeah! How the dude's doing. I hope I get to see him again. Guide me well. Guide me well. Oh, 
I got hit by a 32 chance. I can do this. Still alive. Nice. I Just the hindrance. Nice. Defeat me. Left. I wonder. Let's make this quick. Leave it to me. My orders? At the ready. Me too. Good time for a secret scheme. strategy. Huh. I'll use this steady now. This should give us a bit more freedom of movement. Now, how best to attack? Shall we? <laughs> Too close for my liking. down to this. Really? I... That is not my fault. Getting a 7% crit. Oh my god. To do. Must press on. Guide me well. 
Cement your weakness. Dead. Seven percent crit. You shouldn't be hitting. Yes, I know. Now that is just bullshit. Guide me well. Wait, actually, give me. Okay, yeah, it's it's a train. Because clearly, it's over. All is going to plan. One hit. Two points. I'll have to do that. Steady now. Onward. Shall we? Yeah. <laughs> Shall we? Let's make this quick. my strategy. It won't be in vain. It might be. I won't run. Thank you. I have to do this. Now there's a way forward. Look at you. At the ready. Why? No, ready. I'm not. Why is door? 
to me. I wasn't about to let you go. Can't afford to slack off. do oh okay i'm resetting that well, i'm not resetting just turn back time okay so where is i moved steady now strategy. Another victory. I won't run. I'm giving this all I've got. A predictable success. At the ready. Stop doing that. At the ready. And one. My orders? Leave it to me.
Don't get used to this. A threat eliminated. What's my strategy? Let's make this quick. Leave it to me. Why? Ah, guide me well. Just the hindrance. That is all. Hope this isn't it. Shall we? An offensive sight! Thought you could best me? Shall we? Confess, I never imagined that you would be able to pursue me this far. I don't mean to belittle your skills, Professor, but you far surpassed my expectations. Inform the troops. Destroy anyone who sets foot in the throne room. Lament your weakness. Oh my god. Allow me to actually... Well moved. Port fine. Guide me well. I won't allow it. Leave it to me. Sorry, it's gotta be like this. Hope this isn't it. Shall we? 
never let your guard down. Shall we? In a hurry to die. Too close for my liking. Chest. The giant shell. I won't run. My orders? At the ready. There we go. More proof of my loyalty. What's my strategy? Sort of a gold yes! All is going to plan. Talisman. Kamaro shield. What does what's, what's that again? Ah. The one thing. Steady now. Honestly, kind of useless. For the future of both. Bye. I have faith. That is all. Let's make this quick. A nobleman does his duty. Watch. 
Silver gauntlets, which are useless to me, which is are useless. I can still fight. Guide me well. Now we're back in action. Had to be done. Your Highness, somehow you must. The dude was never going to really get through. If, if that did not hit. Time to slow down. You're really tough. I won't run. My orders. Onward. Shall we? I can still fight. I'll heal up. Guide me well. Steady now. Out. Leave it to me. Your Highness. If only I... Really? Let's make this quick. At this point, I might as well just not like bother. Good form. Might as well just leave her run. here. My orders? Shouldn't be this flimsy, though, which is the thing I'm weirded out by. Onward. Sorry about that. Shall we? Cat came in, and that meant I need to give her her medicine. I can still fight. So yeah, slight apologies for that, but Guide yeah. Me well. Steady now. Gambit. Leave it to me. Yes. What 
What's my strategy? Should have seen that coming. At the ready. We're all desperate, aren't we? Sorry, but it's you or me. I'll try. Shall we? <laughs> I'll tolerate no obstacle. Best me. Shall we? Lament your weakness. Nice. Haven't withered away. Assist. Physic.
again, there's nothing else I'm gonna do. Sublime. Sword of the Creator. Okay. Yep, and fail no. Because of that crit, I'm going to start off with Sublime. Sword of the Creator. Professor, I suppose you think you can defeat me, is that right? But I will never give up. Even if my arms and legs failed me, I would still find a way to move forward. I will smash that false goddess and her minion into the ground. I will fight to free this world from her vile grasp. Edelgard, give up! We don't want to kill you! But I must kill you. If I don't, the righteous world I dream of will never see the light. Come at me with everything you have. For one of us, this is the end! I must pull through. I mean, I could do this, but it makes more sense to do this. Your ideals. I understand they're not so far removed from my own. But without sufficient knowledge of this land's suffering, I can't entrust Fodlin to you. Perhaps. I dare say it's true that I don't fully understand the history of Fodlin. Still, I've seen many things in my life. Don't worry. I'll finish the job for you. Too easy. Oh, nice! It looks as though my path will end here. My teacher, claim your victory. Strike me down, you must. Even now, across this land, people are killing each other. If you do not act now, this conflict will go on forever. Your path lies across my grave it is time for you to find the courage to walk it if I must fall let it be by your hand I want it Walk with you. Confrontation at the palace. Okay, I don't get why Lawrence was MVP. <laughs> All right. I disagree. My, but hey. Thank you so much. It's over. We were only able to beat her because of you. This wasn't the conclusion I'd hoped for. Even though... I... Never mind. It's over now. The important thing is that we won. Here, boy. A letter. An Imperial General asked me to give it to you. A letter? Let's see it. It looks like it's from Hubert, Edelgard's vassal. If you are reading this letter, that means I have perished. As Her Majesty would never surrender to another, I can only assume she has fallen as well. It greatly pains me to think of this coming to pass. That said, as the survivors, I must ask you to settle certain affairs in our stead. 
You must destroy the threat that slithers in the dark. I am sure you must recall Monica and Tomas. Their allies yet live. They hold deep resentment against the children of the goddess and the people of the world. And they are biding their time until they can exact revenge. If left to their own devices, it is certain they will eventually bring unimaginable calamity and suffering to the world. I detected their sorcery when you took Fort Mercius. I have deduced the location of their stronghold, Shambhala. You will find its whereabouts enclosed. There is no question that they are the enemies of everyone in Fodlan. Do not allow yourselves to forget that. Lastly, while I cannot say she is in good health, the Archbishop resides in a secret chamber in the Imperial Palace. I have shared the location of the entrance to that secret chamber with the person to whom I have entrusted this letter. I believe that Her Majesty will be victorious. Even still, I must plan for her defeat as well. If you wish to lead this world, I challenge you to rise to the occasion and surpass my estimation of you. Such is your obligation as the victors. And the only fitting tribute to all that Lady Edelgard sacrificed. Hubert, to leave a letter like this behind, you were a better man than I believed you to be. So, Rhea is alive, and the fight isn't over yet. Those who slither in the dark. It sounds like Fodlan will never know peace unless we defeat them. The allies of Monica and Tomas, well, we knew about them already. I think it's safe to assume this is the same group who used Lysithia for their blood experiments. And they were also responsible for the javelins of light that destroyed the fortress. But who were these children of the goddess who they supposedly resent? There's just not enough information here. I don't suppose there's any chance that this is his idea of a prank. If so, wow, good one. Hubert, rather than writing a letter, you should have just told us before we fought. Let's ask Rhea. Cloud. Right. We still don't know for sure if this letter is telling the truth. Let's go find out. You... You have come to save me. Is this... Cloud... Is this... Is this a dream? I have longed to see you again. All this time. Is it truly you? Claude, I can see you have grown into a reliable young man. Thank you for supporting the professor and for rescuing me. Surely the protection of the goddess has... Wait, Rhea. What do you know about the children of the goddess? Children of... What is this about? Forgive my bluntness. Someone from the Empire filled us in on a few things. I know it must be painful for us to ask you difficult questions after such an arduous confinement, but we have no choice. We must defeat a secret enemy. Those who slither in the dark. Do you know about them? Those who slither in the dark? Apparently, they resent the children of the goddess and the people of the world, and are planning something big, something terrible. They use blood for their wicked magic and are capable of dropping javelins of light from the sky, which are powerful enough to crush a fortress. If you can think of anything at all, please tell us now. We need to know as much as possible about these enemies in order to stop them. This is the critical moment that will determine whether or not Fodlin falls. Can't you see that the time for secrets has passed? It is true that there is a group of people who have slithered in the darkness and threatened the peace of Fodlin since ancient times. I am sure you have heard the stories of a man named Nemesis. The King of Liberation. Nemesis, the King of Liberation. He's the hero to whom the goddess gave the sword of the creator. Nemesis was originally the leader of a group of bandits. He plundered the holy tomb and stole the remains of the progenitor god. When Nemesis appeared in Xanado some time later, he already wielded the sword of the creator. In Xanado? Xanado, the Red Canyon. 
I do not know how Nemesis obtained the sword, or why he appeared in Xanado. But he used that sword to massacre the people there, the children of the Progenitor God. From their corpses, he gained even more power and brought war to Fodlan. That's completely different from what the legends tell us about Nemesis. A mere bandit like Nemesis would not have been capable of anything so monstrous on his own. Aha! So Nemesis had accomplices, and those accomplices must have been those who slither in the dark. They used Nemesis, and this time they used the Imperial Army to once again bring war to Fodla. I finally get it, and I even understand why Edelgard was associating with them. Just as they were trying to use the Empire, the Empire was trying to use them. Rhea, there's still a mountain of things I need to ask you, and I will, but I'll leave all of that for another day. You must be weak after living in confinement for so long. Please, rest for a while. My friend, let's prepare for battle. We need to strike Shambhala as soon as possible. You must not allow Fodlin's bloody history, the Red Canyon tragedy, to repeat itself. If you really thought that was the end... Hmm. It occurs to me that we never got an answer from Rhea about the children of the goddess. Thought that was end? Yeah, no. No, it's not. <laughs> Aren't they the people of Xanadu? She did say that the people of the Red Canyon were the children of the progenitor god. So I suppose so. But those evil guys continued to plot their revenge even after the Red Canyon tragedy. Does that mean some of the children of the goddess, or their descendants, are still alive? Rhea? Could be. She was talking about what happened in Xanadu as if she was there herself. What are these children anyway? And how are they connected to the goddess? Ah, I almost disappeared into the bottomless swamp that is my mind. I thought that after we defeated the Empire, I'd be able to see that sight I longed to see. What site is that? I've told you about my dreams before. I want to break down the wall separating Fodlan from the outside world. The site I want to see lies beyond that. Honestly, it's a trivial thing to fixate on. Just people, gathered in their towns, living out their lives together. Sometimes laughing, sometimes fighting. But the people living there aren't just citizens of Fodlan. There are people from Dagda, Bridget, and even Dusker and Srang. There could be people who were born in Almira, or countries even farther east there, too. All of those people living together like it's nothing special at all. That's the side I long to see. It's so simple, but still so far away. But this is no time for complaining. We need to focus on capturing Shambhala. Let's hurry up and gather everyone together. So, you mean to tell me that Fodlan will fall to ruin if we leave those guys be? Um, if this map is reliable, their base is just south of my family's territory. This story is a bit much to believe. And yet... It does ring true, somehow. Remember Monica, the one who killed Gerald, and the old man who was masquerading as Tomas? They were their allies, and the Flame Emperor and the Death Knight were merely their pawns. The people who were after my blood? They were also the ones who used me to conduct their blood experiments. As awful as it sounds, they're seemingly fond of using blood in their secret techniques. Ugh, that's really gross. I could never be friends with someone like that. I believe they were also responsible for the Javelin of Light that destroyed Fort Mercius. Hold up, boy. Do you really think that we can win against such powerful foes? I don't know. But we have to try, don't we? This is Fulden's future. We've really taken on something big. I wonder if our names will go down in history. <laughs> My heroic name passed down to future generations? <laughs> A worthy cause indeed. They were trying to use the Imperial Army to plunge Fodlin into war, but we nipped that in the bud. Now, we just need to tear out their roots. 
and I know we have what it takes to do it. So that, next time on Fire Emblem, Three Houses, we're going to plan our assault on Shambhala. See you guys then. Zeno Zimmer, signing out.